My name is Fatima Gailani. I am from Afghanistan. Um, I was the uh, former president of the Afghan Red Crescent Society. The work of peace and being in touch uh, with this institute is not new for me. Um, uh, for the last 46 years that Afghanistan has been in turmoil, um, on and off, I had uh, my relationship and my uh, talk, um, exchanging views and all that. It is a very unfortunate uh, situation. It is very confusing situation. And it is absolutely uh, not acceptable um, by the people of Afghanistan. Uh, it is not acceptable and it is not acceptable for, to the world. And especially um, the, a country which is coming under the name of Islam, uh, it's a contradiction to Islam. Because there is an open and very clear verse in Quran Actually, Quran started with that verse, which means um, read, iqra, read, learn, learn the art of writing, ilm al-qalam, the, the art of writing. This is an order. This is uh, an open order from God, and uh, it cannot be reversed. So um, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many people in Afghanistan, men and women, this is what is happening today in Afghanistan is a contradiction. Uh, to that. But the government hasn't said that it is forbidden. They have said it has suspended. But even the suspension, it is more than three years. Uh, there has to be a way to, to reopen the door for women. One thing is extremely important that uh, not just the U.S., the whole world uh, has a responsibility towards Afghanistan, not just regarding women in Afghanistan regarding the poverty, regarding uh, restart the life for the people of Afghanistan from agriculture uh, to education and all that. Because Afghanistan was caught and Afghanistan was um, a country which was uh, sacrificed and uh, very badly sacrificed during the Cold War. And then this, uh, that carried on. So this is the responsibility of the whole world to rebuild Afghanistan. Pressure has to come from the people of Afghanistan. This is the demand of people of Afghanistan. I want to make it very clear to the world and also inside Afghanistan that this is not a Western demand. This is a demand of uh, the Afghan people. This is the right of Afghan women. Not only this is the right of Afghan women, as I said earlier, it is an order from God. If we are Muslim, this is an uh, uh, order from God. This is our responsibility. Inside Afghanistan, if I have knowledge of my own religion, you cannot tell me a tradition or something which is either not Islamic or sometimes even it is against Islam and sugarcoat it with Islam and tell me and this is Islam. So uh, I think it is important um, that we should know about our religion and we should know how to defend ourselves, we women especially, how to defend ourselves. Um, with the with our religion that there are things that um, are not supposed to be and the biggest example of it is the inheritance of women uh, because it is against the tradition uh, in our region not just in Afghanistan in our region that it is shameful for a woman to ask for their um, for their inheritance um, I've never seen any government any country that they put it in laws and regulations, but to effectively go and practically change that, I haven't seen it. And I think that the time has come that we should wake up and we do that. Mm -hmm.